Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter! Boom 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 bam 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 boom review stuff and I am back for another review. I'm back for another cooking video and I am so excited. So, 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 so excited about this video. Um, I'm actually going to do something today that I don't usually do on this channel. And that is that I'm going to review something that I've actually already tried. <laughs> I tried this last night. And after I tried it, I was like, I should have saved this for my review channel. And then I was so excited. So, so, so excited um, by the turnout of it that I was like, you know what? It is important that I let the people know how good this is. So, I gotta put my reading glasses on because I can't see anything without them. What I am reviewing today is the Gardein Crispy Chicken Sliders Snack Sized Burgers with Big Taste. These are vegan chicken sliders, okay? Kind of like what you would get if you went to the White Castle or the Crystals or something like that. They are 190 calories per slider and they have six grams of fat. And uh, let's see, 290 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbs, 2 grams of dietary fiber, 3 sugars, and 9 grams of protein. So they're high in protein, okay? And if you don't know what the brand Gardein is, I think it's pronounced Gardein. I might get a little bit of a thumbnail. <laughs> Gardein is a plant-based meat substitute. Now, I'm a vegetarian. I'm not vegan. I'm a vegetarian. There are a lot of vegetarians and vegans that do not like to eat substitute meat. Like, they don't like to eat Beyond Burgers or Impossible Burgers. They don't like to eat the Morning Star sausages and things like that. I do. I like to eat those things. Because um, sometimes I kind of miss having a good chicken sandwich or um, you know, chicken nuggets and things like that. I love the Morning Star chicken nuggets. Those are probably my favorites. Um, I love the Morning Star spicy, I think it's the spicy sausages. I like those as well. Um, and I, I do love the, uh, Beyond Burgers as well. I don't mind the Impossible Burgers, but I really, really like the Beyond Burgers. So I am not a vegetarian that minds, like, meat substitutes. I know that there's a lot of vegetarians out there that they do not like to be reminded of meat, and so they don't eat those things, and I highly respect that, but I like to eat things <laughs> that are meat substitutes. So anyway, I like to try a lot of different things, and I actually showed this in, I think, a Peter Does Stuff video that I bought these from Fresh Time, and um, uh, for, it says four sliders and buns, which I didn't see when I got these, and somebody commented on my video, and they said, if those are the same ones that I bought, they don't have buns with them, which I was like, I saw that comment and I was so disappointed. I was like, oh my God, because I didn't get little slider buns to make them. So they've been sitting in the freezer for, I don't know, the past month or something like that. And I haven't even tried them. And last night I was hungry. And so I was like, okay, I am going to pull these sliders out and see what they're all about. Right? So I opened them and I have to tell you, to my surprise, I was very, very excited when I pulled them out. And they are sliders with buns on them. <laughs> I like big buns and I cannot lie. Okay, but anyway, um, so yeah. And I guess I could have just known that if I would have just read on the box where it says four sliders and buns. And here it says, hungry for more ideas? Need a quick meal or on the run? You only need a couple of minutes and you'll be enjoying our ultimate beefless sliders or teriyaki chicken bowl. Um, need a, a dinner venture? Venture? Make a stir fry in minutes with our mandarin orange chicken. So they their substitute for chicken is C I H C N. Or wait, C H I C K apostrophe N. That's like what they call their fake chicken. So I'm gonna only make one of these because I'm not super hungry right now. But I wanted to show you guys how to make it. A little cooking video with Peter and who? Come here. You wanna say hi to the people? With Peter and Boo Radley. Boo Radley, we're up in the kitchen. You want to cook? He said, well, I don't care. Are we cooking? We are cooking in the kitchen, Boo Radley. He said, okay, let's make some chicken. So we're going to make some chicken. So here is what they look like when they come out of the package. They look like this. Okay. Now, I did this last night, but I made two of them last night. So you first take the chicken patty out of the thing and uh, so then you have the bun and you wrap it in a paper towel as such I think you put it in the 
the microwave for 80 seconds for two. So how many for just one? For one slider, da da da. Remove slider from wrapper, open bun and remove patty, wrap patty in paper towel and cook for 50 seconds on high. I added five seconds last night, so I'm gonna add five seconds tonight and I'm gonna put it for 55 seconds and we will start it like that. Someone's in the kitchen with Peter. Someone's in the kitchen, I know, oh, oh, oh. Now, I will tell you, I have my mayonnaise right here because I love mayonnaise on a chicken sandwich, but you can have mustard, you can have sriracha, you can have hot sauce, you can have ketchup. My husband loves to dip his um, chicken fingers, like he does, he's not vegetarian, so my husband loves to dip his chicken fingers in marinara sauce, so if you want to put marinara sauce on there, you can. You can put anything that you want to put on there. You know why? You know why? You know why? Because it's your meatless chicken sandwich. So you can do whatever you want to do on there. But for me, I'm going to put some mayonnaise on here because I'm so excited. Okay. So the next part of the ingredients uh, or the directions are, hold on a second. Remove patty from paper towel, reassemble slider and place upside down on microwave safe plate, which I have right here. Do -do 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 so here's what it looks like when it comes out. Woo! the magic of a microwave what would we do without it okay so you take your bun and you place it upside down see this is this is the buns part i like big butts and i cannot lie okay so then you put that there like that you put your chicken patty on top of it and then you put the bottom there so it's upside down okay and then you put it back in the microwave so the bun gets warm as well and 30 seconds. So I'm going to put it on for 35 seconds this time. Okay. And then you clean up as you go, which is what we're doing right now. We're cleaning up as we go. See, dual purpose paper towel. You cook with it and then you clean with it. Well, we're also going to uh, clean down the counter in just a second. So I have these paper towels over here in case I make a huge mess, but let's hope that that's not the case. So we're counting down 10 and a 9. And an eight, and a seven, and a six. Boo Radley is like, what is going on? And a four, three, two, one. Okay, you so excited to see the finished results? Okay. So, pull it out of the microwave. Still upside down. No, it didn't turn around in the microwave. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. Woo! Now, for those of you that watch my vlog, you know that when I got out of the hospital, I went through a period where I got vegan, uh, Joella's vegan hot chicken sandwich for a while. Now, I like a lot of mayonnaise on my sandwich. So I would get, um, so Joella's hot chicken, which is only in a few states. I think Indiana's one of them. I love the, I love Joella's hot chicken. They have pies in a jar there. They have really good French fries, but I haven't been really like wanting greasy food lately. I guess this is kind of greasy food, but anyway. I haven't been wanting fast food or anything like that. But for a while, I was eating Joella's Hot Chicken because they have vegan chicken patties there. And you can get them just by themselves with sides like slaw, coleslaw, um, or mashed potatoes and things like that, right? But I got it on a chicken sandwich, and I loved them. The, ch the vegan chicken sandwiches at Joella's Hot Chicken are so good. When I bit into this last night, can I just tell you, this thing tasted almost identical to me to Joella's vegan hot chicken sandwich. I could not believe it. Mmm. Oh my God. It is so, you guys, so delicious. Swear by this. Swear by this all day long. Gardein. Check it out. I haven't actually tried a lot of different Gardein products. So after having tried this and really liking it, I'm going to try some more. So anyway, if you've tried it or if you have other meatless products that you guys think that I should try, let me know in the comment section below and I will try them and review them. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.